It's day two of Modern Taiwan, back at Inwind's factory in Taoyuan City. The competitors have already started. Really excited to see how they turn out. Let's go check it out. As you can see, they're already hard at work, continuing right where they left off. Teams have made some pretty good progress. I've already seen that BS Mods cut out a medieval looking cross in the front of their uh, front panel. Let's go look at it. Where did you find that? Uh, I found it at Home Depot. So uh, we cut it up and we put some behind the motherboard and then we've got another piece right here. And this will go in behind the reservoir. This will be the border for the window, so we're not going to put a strip around this. Uh, so we just want to give it a little bit of uh, the same look that our border pieces will have. So we're going to unfortunately have to do this by hand all the way around the window and on both sides of our border that goes all the way around every panel. Today, well, I've just got finished off the SSD, so I'm going to make some more vinyl for this to make sure that these details are all coloured in. So instead of using paint that takes time to dry, I'm going to use vinyl print and cut it out. So that's one job. I'll probably do some vinyl logos for the side of the case for all the sponsors as well. So it's, it's basically just going to be vinyl printing today by Luke Savage. Um, for the case that's getting prepped at the moment, we're going to paint that and get that ready to go, so it's going to be a bit, bit of a busy day again, I think. What are you uh, adding in? Where is it? We're adding a screen. So this is going to be like an inventory screen, so it's just going to show status of like uh, bandages, uh, things like morphine status, and we're going to have some health status. Uh, it's actually going to relay to like CPU temperature, will be like health, We've got uh, CPU load will be like a heartbeat sensor and that'll all be live on, on this little screen which will go in behind here. So the Chinese team has started to do their water cooling loop. This is a water 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 we just have to finish the last um, alloy parts and after they are finished and sanded, we will do the same parts all in acrylic. That's the plan for today. <laughs> Hopefully we we'll finish it. I'm doing the front, the front of the case and just before the rear. A lot of work today. Um, they started making their front panel right now. You can see that added an angular front bezel to, to the chassis. And I, we know that they have a mounting plate and a PSU shroud. I'm doing my tubing for my water cooling. So I'm heating up some uh, what they call PETG. It's kind of like acrylic. So that way I can run all my water cooling lines and uh, once I get all this done, I'm gonna pull everything out so Ron can do some of his magic on the inside. So today we're gonna work on uh, the window side panel, integrate um, the right side of the shoulder and arm, and then uh, we're gonna do finish up the front bezel, get our LCD screen installed, uh, get the eye of the Titan installed. Lee's gonna get the system completely finished today, filled with coolant, and then hopefully by the end of the day we'll be just on to do it, starting our first uh, first paint coats and uh, just aesthetics. Basically the, the chassis went through the big oven and um, I didn't know, I didn't see but there was a wire sticking down from the inside and it actually scraped a massive scratch all across my new paintwork so I had to take it back in the booth and paint it all again. It looks good. I mean, the first problem that I had was that it laid flat on cardboard, and uh, when I lifted it up, the paint still hadn't cured properly. So, yeah, it's, yeah, and I had like a ripple effect, so I had to sand all that down and paint that again. So it's been like every time I paint it, flip it over, there's a new problem. Tools down. 
for day number two.